Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday here. Uh, Fed week, it's 14 December. Sort of the last full week um, of the year. We got Christmas a week from this Friday, and then we got all the other stuff. I have a feeling the trading is going to be a little bit more active uh, at the end of December this year because travel plans have been quashed. Um, normally we're in Italy, a trip that I I look forward to every year, um, and uh, we're not going this year. Ski slopes are closed, restaurants are closed, uh, so we're just going to hunker down here uh, at home. I think a lot of people here in Europe certainly are going to do the same. I know Germany just uh, put the lock on the lockdown again. So, for lack of other things to do, I think there will be a little bit more trading uh, this last 10 days, 15 days of the year um, than normal. Anyway, let's look at cable. Um, fishing for low ones on Friday. It worked out pretty well with the one, it went up to 133.70 at the open. Here shows 57 high. Now we're at 133.28. Uh, we still stand by the fact that this deal gets done and that this posturing is just all uh, posturing. Like both sides want to make it look like they've fought to the end and tooth and nail and tried their best to get the best deal for their constituency. But in the end, there'll be some sort of compromise sausage made deal uh, and cable will close the year at 143 um, this is where we stand on this a lot of my UK friends think that's insane so there are plenty of other people standing on the other side of this equation um, and I don't really have any evidence of this this is just based on intuition anyway cable higher if you did go fishing for pounds um, on the 131 handle. Sell them here, refish for low ones. There'll be plenty of more bad news over the next 15 days. This is gonna yo-yo up, yo-yo down. Um, try and keep a core long, or don't, you know, you don't even need to keep a core long. If you wanna just harvest 100, 150 pips, go for it. Um, you know, and if you miss cable one side or the other, also, don't worry about it. There's always another trade. Uh, and if you're not in the rhythm of this or if it's not working out for you, just move on to something else. Anyway, dollar yen watching this uh, 103.70 area. I was thinking about Japan over the weekend and, and early this morning. Got to keep an eye out for when... The debt metrics rear their ugly head again. This always, I mean, it's been this way for 20 years, but you have periods where people go, debt doesn't matter. Then you have periods go where, people, where debt does matter. Um, but growth and debt are problems in Japan, as they have been for a long, long time. So it just, the reason I bring it up is it looks like dollar yen is going to go lower. Um, and the big dollar sell is going to overtake all other stories uh, over the next year. But I just want to point out that dollar yen at 120, you could easily create a story, a very salient story that puts dollar yen at 120, right? Especially if U.S. rates go up at all a little bit, you know, any kind of inflation. So look both ways, right? The real, you know, the the point you have to watch on the top side is 104.75. Downside is 103.70. Um, but look both ways. Should they, surely there's like a sexy downward sloping trend line as well. Anyway, look both ways. Downside looks like it's going to happen first, but top side could also happen as well. Um, so be flexible. 
This is why we use stops. This is why we're not emotional about trades. Just put them on, move on. Cross yen, uh, not really sure what to do with this. Uh, you know, obviously a little bit higher after tickling these 125.79s. This is sort of a Brexit thing. This is why euros, <coughs> excuse me, up at 40. Um, also, you see that you know gap open uh, today. Euro's not doing much. Um, Euro yen's not doing much. I think you know, obviously Brexit news is much better for sterling than the European side. UK has way more to lose than Europe on this. So nothing really to do with either. I'm just pointing out they're back in the middle of the ranges. Um, so just watching. With this sort of risk on, dollar czar is back lower again. We did uh, trade it on the long side on Friday. 15.10 was treated as expected. A big, you know, pretty zippy move up to 16. Back to 07, up to 16, 07. Now that we're back below 10, um, certainly on the tactical book, not sure what to do. Um, you know, this is basically risk and interest rate centric. Obviously, ES now is, is back at 36.70. After trading down, um, this is the March contract. After trading down to 20 on uh, Friday, Friday looked pretty bad for risk. Now, with this whole little Brexit flower um, being, you know, planted, risk is a little bit more stable today so tactically nothing to do in 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 dollars are or dollar max dollar max looks a little bit more robust but you know 05 was the um pivot on friday we haven't gotten below 05 today but we're sitting there now um i would just leave dollar max alone tactically today don't really see any interest there this is a real interesting um, chart for me. This bar here, Doji, Gravestone Doji, if you like, reminds me a lot of this bar here on 01 September. This was a turn bar 01 September. This is not confirmed as a turn. You need to print a lower low, right? You need to get this thing below uh, 7520. I have the distinct feeling that this is going to be an extension bar. And so you want to, you know, if risk stays buoyant, uh, be careful being short this. What is that? 75, 75. For the number of files out there, that's a sexy little number. Point is, uh, either side is in play here. So if this breaks through the lows, we'll probably be looking to get through the two on the short side. But if this also breaks the highs, which is the super uncomfortable side that nobody wants to happen. This is kind of your Santa Claus rally trade, dollar smoked, uh, you know, in the corn cob pipe trade. Could happen. In fact, for me, it looks like this is going to happen. All these dollar bears and all of these valuation guys. Valuations are insane in the equity world but they can remain insane easily for another month, another six months, even another year. Um, so timing that turn is our big, big question. And if we do get the Santa Claus rally, top side Aussie um, is the play. This means downside Euro Aussie. If you sold high ones on Friday, you were okay. If you sold high ones last night, again, you were okay. This looks like she's trending lower here. This adds a little bit more um, meat to the Aussie higher um, story. Tactically, we're square on this one for now. The problem with Euro Aussie shorts is if Euro breaks through the highs, <coughs> the interesting highs uh, were 62. That was right before the comment at the open on Friday, the European uh, comment. 
and then of course 75 euro does look like she wants to go higher certainly in a risk on situation she will uh, and that means euro Aussie will be sort of running to stand still um, anyway Aussie yen doing nothing middle of nowhere we were working on a pretty bearish bar Friday but now we're back risk on is dollar cad going to continue could do we saw some pretty big bids, bids at 127 the figure last week uh, but at 127.55 again not much to do gold waiting for the fed here uh, Wednesday this week kind of dancing on the lows here but if we turn into this huge <coughs> dollar spiral lower um, gold will go higher um, if the fed is hawkish gold will go lower I don't think there's any chance the feds gonna be hawkish considering the fear factor from uh, all of these COVID headlines that looks like a turn right <clears throat> we had every chance to get crushed in stocks we closed at 53 um, now we've been as high as 78 so many bears out there so many bears tactically you want to be long today um, that looks like the correct side we like long stocks uh, because it makes it easier to sell ZB this also looks like a turn uh, anywhere 173.15 to 174 you want to let some ZBs go um, this looks like our most preferred trade today so let's see uh, let's see what happens Bitcoin bang <clears throat> big weekend rally um, thousand bucks still within the range uh, but Bitcoin looks set also to go higher so be careful keep your core on we've all lightened up here we may regret that but keep your core on um, maybe we visit 25,000 before we go back to 15,000 um, it is Bitcoin so there's a sort of nonsensical joker-esque price action to it uh, and you got to be nimble and ready for that anyway uh, not much for as far as economic releases today you can see the charts are a little bit broken now um, with these gaps and these big moves in sterling we're going to be watching euro dollar top side through 62 and through 75 watching Aussie both sides of that daily bar we're selling ZB today which is our like favorite trade um, and we'll just be watching stocks I don't think we're going to be long but we'll be watching stocks on the long side uh, to see if it fulfills or what it looks like is going to happen is a melt up uh, so anyway leave it at that wish you good luck and I will see you all tomorrow